Today I'll show you how to actually configure or convert a Metroska file that you may have downloaded. You know, those uh, high definition shows that you can get from the web. Um, for example, Battlestar Galactica high definition 720p is actually a MKV file. But what if you want to play that file on your Xbox 360 or maybe even on your Apple TV? How can you actually get that file to play natively without having to uh, re-encode it totally from scratch? There is actually a way to do that. You need a couple of items. Uh, you'll need something called Perian, uh, which is a, an item or a, a decoder that will allow you to decode Metroska file. So that's the first thing you will need. And you'll then need a fully licensed version of QuickTime Player. Um, here I'll actually start up QuickTime to play this file uh, through Perian. Uh, obviously you could open it up with VLC or Media Player, but to quickly re-encode that file, what I want to use is actually QuickTime. So I'm gonna fire up QuickTime Player and it's gonna open up the, from the file. From, so you can actually see that this is a H.264 encoded file, 1280 by 720p, and it is actually audio of AC3 5.1 channels. So it might be an issue for the Xbox 360 at this point as it won't decode uh, those kinds of files. Like if you want to play H.264, you are stuck to actually have uh, H.264 files with uh, ACC2 channels. So if you are like in my case, you'll need to convert the audio to be a stereo um, encode to be able to render that on the Xbox 360 uh, from a H.264 format. So first thing you need to do, we're all gonna see that the actual file play, as you can see, I'm able to play the file in quick time. So that's great. Uh, just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to shorten whatever we're going to encode to a quite a little less. Um, so I'm just going to move the file around to just select a portion of the movie so that it becomes very short for the encode. And I'm just going to use quick time to uh, trim the selection I've made. So essentially now the quick time is only going to bother about this portion of the selection. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to do an export of the file and you want to export this file as a mp4 movie so movie for mp4 part of a selection by default you're likely going to have movie to quicktime movie and you want to change that to movie to mpeg4 next thing you want to do is change the options what you want to be sure is that your video format is going to be passed through because the video is already encoded in H.264 so that's good uh, to pass through as is and where we need to change things is the actual audio which is a 42 kilohertz AC3 5.1 we want to make that an AAC LC I guess our only option right now is music 128 kilobits should be good enough uh, you could bump that up, but I guess uh, for two-channel audio, AAC 128 is most likely sufficient. Make that stereo, and then I'm going to pick 48 kilohertz to just maintain the same sampling frequency and encoding quality best so that we don't lose too much out of the audio. The last option is streaming. Oh, you just leave the default. I usually enable streaming, and that's good enough. So now that all is done, you can click OK, and you can then just pick a name. Um, it's usually better to change the extension to be uh, M4V, so MPEG4 video. Uh, it makes it sometimes easier to uh, get, uh, I guess, your Xbox 360 to pick it up as uh, the proper H.264 video format with, AAC, with ACC or AAC audio. So here I'm just gonna click save and as you'll see it's gonna go fairly quickly since the selection is rather small but it's fairly quick anyway because you're not re-encoding the video you're just re-encoding the audio 
and that makes the actual uh, process quite fast. So when the actual encoding will be done, I'll be able to show you the resulting file playing back on the computer. It's almost done. As you can see, encoding process is completed, so I can actually quit quick time for this one. I'm not gonna save the settings. And now you see that I've got the original MKV file and now the new M4V file. And this one by default will open up because I've selected that in QuickTime. And it's gonna bring that up. And now you can see it's an AAC audio, 48 kilohertz and H.264 video with the same frame rate. And as you'll see, it will play just fine as it should with the same video quality as the original. And it's just, just nicely. So now that file is ready to be played on your Xbox 360 or even if the video bitrate is acceptable uh, on your Apple TV. So hope you enjoyed the demo.